Um, I don't really think there's another way to say this other than uh, in exactly 15 days, I'm going to be driving a Formula One car. I don't think I've quite digested what is, is really going to happen and I don't really know what to expect to be honest because it's obviously a type of car I've never driven before on a track I've, I've been to once and did one lap on but I can't remember at all and just to think that I'm going to be in that seat that I grow up looking at and admiring um, is just beyond mad to me. I think one of the things that I'm worried that I will underestimate and in general is underestimated a lot is the, is the physical side. You know, my neck isn't strong enough or anything. So I contacted, there's a gym here that I've seen all of these uh, F1 drivers go to. A lot of tennis players go there, but specifically F1 drivers. And because it's really specific muscles you need to, to work on, uh, I figured we would go there. So we have a two hour workout ahead of us. Uh, I think they're going to analyze my body on this machine. I'm worried the machine's going to be like, who the, who the hell let this guy in? Et en même temps, on a activé les yeux un petit peu, le système de l'oreille interne. Donc ça, c'est relativement intéressant. Okay. On continue Parti. On monte crescendo, ok Bien, ça va, ça tremblait comme la voiture qui fait un burn-out. Exactement ça. Il est prêt, il a des bonnes bases, euh, sachant que il n'a pas forcément une préparation au préalable. Ce que j'ai pu voir aujourd'hui, euh, c'est prometteur. Et euh, je ne peux que le pousser et l'inviter à continuer dans cette dynamique. Euh, maintenant, si bien sûr il a cette idée d'aller plus loin, euh, je pense qu'il doit vraiment prendre en main une préparation physique adaptée. Là, c'était vraiment une séance découverte. Mais on peut voir qu'il a du potentiel, on peut voir qu'il peut faire quelque chose de bien. Donc, euh, vas-y, fonce. Apprehensive, I think is probably the right word. I don't know what to expect. It's rare that you kind of hop into an experience and you have nothing to compare it to and you have no idea what is going, what is around the corner, literally, in this case. And I'm going to need to learn this track. I'm going to need to prepare myself. I think it's going to be very, um, all the feelings that we go through on that day are going to be very strong. I, I, I can't really quite imagine what it's going to be like to see Sebastian in in an F1 car um, but uh, I hope that we'll all be able to enjoy it not be too nervous and that he'll just have the best conditions to be able to get the absolute most out of this experience. Today I'm putting myself in as much as is possible of a situation of actually being in the car Obviously a Formula One car is not something you can just have access to whenever you want to practice, nor is a track like Portimao. So you have to you know, go on simulators and try that way. 
we're going to have the luck. We're lucky enough to be able to try out one of the best simulators there possibly is. So this is the first time I'm really going to be able to experience the track and get close to, I guess, the character and the feel of what the car will be like. On a la It's hard to realize because it seems so inaccessible. I think um, many of us, me included, would just dream about uh, driving a Formula One, but it's like it's never going to happen and that it's actually happening. And with such an iconic car, the, the Williams car, the Schumacher Times is, brings back a lot of memories of some, some iconic races, some great races. So for him to be at the wheel of that car is a little bit hard to get my mind around but um, it's going to be a great time and looking forward to sharing it as a family. I never thought that he'd be able to get all the way up to driving a Formula One. I knew that his passion and his drive uh, for, for racing would get him uh, opportunities to be able to, to race and to drive some spectacular cars, but Formula One, I wasn't sure about that. Alors, les gars. C'est rien à voir avec toute autre chose que j'ai essayé d'utiliser pour l'instant pour simuler ce que ça donnerait. De regarder les tours de pilote qui les décrivait, à jouer sur la play, tout ça, bien sûr, je sais que ça, bien sûr que c'est pas pareil du tout, mais à quel point c'est incomparable à tout ce que j'ai eu la chance de pouvoir utiliser dans le passé, c'est vraiment dingue. Et pour apprendre un petit peu le circuit et où placer la voiture, et enfin, dans quelle vitesse j'ai envie d'être, à quel moment tu as envie de freiner, de remettre un peu le gaz, c'est ouf. Mais par contre, ce circuit, il est compliqué. Hein. Ce circuit, il est, il est vraiment chaud. Ouais, tu as, as vu tous les, les virages complètement à l'aveugle. Euh, et surtout que les G que je pense que je vais subir, ça va être chaud, quoi. The way I'm looking at it now is even if I don't have enough time, if I'm really dedicated to it, um, I want to make this worthwhile. This is probably the only time in my life I will get this opportunity and I need to make it count. So I don't want to get there and after having driven the Formula 4s, my neck to start to get weak. I don't want to get there and be unprepared and not know the track. If we're going to do this, I want to give it my best shot. Um, obviously, it's just to have a good time and, you know, I just want to experience the car. I by no means consider myself any type of um, yeah, racing driver or anything like that. I'm just a guy that happens to be lucky enough to have been given this opportunity. But one thing is for sure, I don't want to leave anything on the table. I want to give it my all. I want to make the most of the experience. I want to make it count because this will probably never happen again for me. And it's getting real now. We're in the plane, starting to really kick in, starting to realize, okay, you know, it seemed like so far away and so um, unrealistic, even though it had been confirmed, but now it's like we're on the plane where we're going. Ironically, I'm probably gonna go faster in this seat than I am in the F1 car. I mean, even now, I'm starting to get nerves kick in. I can't even imagine tomorrow. Ah parce que si tu regardes l'avion il était complètement humide de l'extérieur donc ouais. il doit faire très humide. J'espère, s'il si pleut. Enfin, il non mais puis on est le soir aussi, hein, en pleine journée avec le soleil il fera moins humide. Hein. Espérons. <rire> C'est ça le truc. Obviously, I'm 
always going to be concerned as a mother for his safety. I, I'm very aware that, you know, none of these um, circuits and, and race cars, obviously more than any others, Formula One, it's much more brutal, much faster. So I'd be lying to say that I'm not going to be nervous. But so I think that there's probably going to be a little bit of mixed emotions for us. Um, more than anything, just happiness for him because we know what it means for him. Uh, pride uh, that he's been able to 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 have this opportunity and um, you know with all the adrenaline comes a little bit of anxiety also it's uh, a beast that car and um, not an easy not an easy drive but I know he'll be able to handle it and we're really looking forward to it Hello. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh. C'est intimidant quand même, j'avoue. Bonjour, c'est bien Waouh Ouais. C'est quelque chose. T'as vu l'aileron La taille de l'aileron Ça fait un seb. Ça fait un seb, ouais. L'aileron fait la taille d'un seb. Il coûte beaucoup plus cher qu'un seb. Ouais, là oui. Waouh non, euh, non, 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 je vais commencer avec une comme ça. Ouais. Donc là, je vais commencer d'abord. J'ai donc, du coup, j'ai deux séances euh, pour apprendre le circuit et un peu m'échauffer pour les formules Renault. Et ensuite, j'ai une séance dans la Formule 1. Déjà, en... juste celle-ci, quand tu les entends démarrer et tout, je viens d'apprendre que je ne vais pas être seul sur le circuit. Il y a une course de classique F1 ce week-end et les gars vont être en train de faire leurs essais. Donc des pros, dans des voitures pro. Et après, il y aura petit Seb, pas pro, dans une voiture pro, mais sur le circuit. Donc, je dois bien regarder mes rétros. Il y a la pression qui monte. Ça descend tellement. Ça sort en montant. C'est fou à quel point ça monte et ça descend. C'est comme ça tout le temps. Ouais. Waouh, c'est impressionnant. Et là, ça doit compresser sur le coup là. Ouais. Là, tu prends des G,
had literally just like that, motorsport reminded me just how dangerous it can be. It was like someone wanted to tell me, hey look buddy, everything can flip on its head in the matter of seconds here. But luckily for me, I was able to avoid that car in front of me. And as you can see, we the car back in one piece, but I was pretty shaken up. If it wasn't for the team at LRS Formula and for them hyping me back up and regaining the confidence to get back into a car, I don't know what, what would have happened here. I mean, I want to thank them, but also explain that LRS are the team that invited me out here to drive the Williams FW33. I'll never thank them enough. These guys are just the best. They buy, they sell, they repair, and they rent the most iconic cars out there. And somehow today, I was able to experience one and I feel so unbelievably lucky. You know, because of a close call, I wasn't about to let this opportunity slip away. I've, like many of you watching, looked up at race drivers my entire life like they were superheroes, you know, admiring every move. How can they break so late? How are the lines always perfect? How do these guys not get scared? And as nuts as it sounds, today was my turn, my time to step up to the plate and get this done. I've been waiting for this my entire life, so despite the inevitable fear, it was time to put that helmet back on and convert all those dreams into reality, you know. Let's do this. Seb, um, congrats for having uh, accomplished this opportunity or having been given this opportunity to drive a Formula One. Um, having, you know, the team, the owners of the car, having the confidence with what they've seen of your driving. Sebastian, I mean, first of all, thank you for inviting us along. I think it's going to be an amazing experience. Very um, special to be there with you. I know that you've worked hard to get yourself into this position. I'm very confident of your abilities. I'm very proud of you. It's a real accomplishment and I just hope that you have fun and you're able to enjoy it to the max. Well, I think not getting overawed too much by the sort of uh, installation in the car, first of all, like that's uh, quite intense, the seat is going to be super tight, the seat is, is uh, pretty racy to say the least, so uh, I think that's getting comfortable there to start with and I just think the sheer power and how light the car is, the braking and not getting too overawed by the first two or three laps of just how violent these cars are. So if you can remain calm and get yourself through that over the first bridge, uh, mentally and physically, uh, I think that you're going to be in good shape. Il fera plus de mal en allant trop vite qu'en allant trop doucement. Il faut construire petit à petit et augmenter la vitesse petit à petit. Si ouais. tu vas aller vite tout de suite, tu es dans le, dans le bac à sable, ouais, dans ouais. le mur. Ça c'est clair. Là tu vas en profiter un maximum parce que tu auras acquis des connaissances que tu n'obtiens pas si tu pars trop vite euh, immédiatement. Quoi, hein. Donc, Ouais, voilà. Piano, piano, au début, il n'y a pas de honte à rouler doucement. Non, mais c'est justement euh... ça. Mais il y a de la honte de planter la voiture. Hein. Exactement. 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 Ouais, la voiture, c'est planter et planter. Il n'y a pas le temps de mettre le stabilisateur, mais ils viennent de démarrer la Williams. T'as besoin de connaître pour aujourd'hui uniquement euh, ces deux boutons. -là. Ok. Donc le rouge ici pour remettre le neutre. Ok. Je vais t'expliquer après quand. Et le rouge ici 
utile contre le Um, okay, I'm gonna try and somewhat, I guess, talk you through what it is. Um, it's, <laughs> I am like unable to speak about it right now. We may have to redo this later when I've, I've kind of like taken it all in and realized what happened. I mean, I'm just 
so insanely humbled to have been able to be at the wheel of a piece of art, um, a piece of history like this, Barrichello's car. It's so far beyond, so far beyond what I could have, like what I imagined it would be times that by 10 and then times that by 100 is what it actually was. The first acceleration, I'm just like, this is, this is beyond physics, this is impossible. The braking is then double that. Um, yeah, the noise, the everything, and it's it's surprisingly kind of it help, it almost helped you a little bit as well. Like it's there, kind of pushing you on a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Um, it's just unbelievable. And like this is why this is why we're petrol heads. This is why we love um, cars. And you know, who would have thought that just a piece of machinery, which is what it is at the end of the day, could make me feel what I think are some of the strongest emotions I've ever felt in my whole life. So, yeah, un unreal, definitely the best experience of my life, probably will be the best experience for the rest of my life. So I'm just, right now, trying to take it all in, um, realize how lucky I am, uh, because this is just unbelievable what I've just been through. I still, I just can't believe it. I feel like I'm in a dream and someone's gonna wake me up, which I know sounds so cheesy. I like, of course you're gonna say that, but the reality of it, like, I feel like I'm living in the TV that I've watched my whole life, if that makes sense. So, um, no, awesome. I mean, LRS Formula, I am uh, just so thankful and I owe you one for the rest of my life. So, uh, the only thing I can say is, guys, please show them the love and support if you can from me because none of this would have been possible without them and without you guys. So, I owe you, I owe LRS, and I'm just the happiest guy in the world. All I want to do now also is go see Mario, my girlfriend, my parents, and just enjoy the, enjoy this moment with them so yeah i'm gonna get all emotions again so we'll film this again another time